this is a skirt that we are going to be making today really cute really simple and mesh is in so I'm just starting off with a size J crochet hook and um, some colored yarn um, so I'm just going to start off with a slip knot and then I'm going to chain 12 I'm going to turn my work I'm gonna skip one here and I'm going to half double crochet um, all the way down so just to give you a closer look of what I did I'm not gonna skip one in this one I'm just going to chain 11 back and forth but I'm gonna show you if you don't know how to half double crochet you just wrap your yarn around insert it into the stitch with your hook wrap your yarn around the hook and pull it through one chain stitch wrap your yarn around again and pull through the remaining three that are still on the loop so again i'm going to show you how to do a really simple go ahead and insert it into the stitch and wrap your yarn around pull through one wrap your yarn around again and pull through the remaining three so i'm going to do it all the way until i get onto the end and then i'm going to use chain take that um tail end that we started off slip knot with and I'm going to weave it and chain it into uh, the remainder of our half double crochets. After this one, so I'm just going to use that peach yarn and go into the first chain. I'm not going to skip any more. My goal is to do 11 back the other way. So this is one. And then we're going to do 10 more. And that will give us 11. going to continue working this pattern in these half double crochet stitches until I can take um, the chains and the work that I've been doing and wrap it around my waist I do not know the inches um, and I do not know how many chains I did I would highly suggest that you work for yourself figure out how many you need to do or how many you need to do for a client you can google the amount of inches if a person wears a size 10 or they wear a size 2 how many inches do they need and just measure it that way but again I don't know the specific numbers so this is what the top of our skirt looks like and the next step is going to be to sew the two edges together you can use a needle but I just like to use my crochet hook and go all the way down with slip knots to me that's just what, what works easier take another slip knot so we can start with the mesh part of our skirt um, but before I do that I'm just gonna snip that um, tail end of the blue yarn take some scissors and snip that off because I just didn't want to sew it in but yeah once I finish that I'm just going to insert um, the slip knot into the top of the skirt and I'm going to chain about four or five just to start us off with the mesh um, but then the simple pattern for this guys is really just chain two skip two half double crochet and it might be a little difficult in the beginning because you really don't have any other double crochets to follow in the previous chain but just do the best you can try not to skip too many and um, try not to make them too close together so here you can just see me trying to figure out, you know, how close I want my stitches to be. And just to slow it down for you, if you don't know how to double crochet, um, I'm just going to, again, chain two. And then I'm trying to figure out how many would be, what it would be like if I was skipping two and a half double crochet. And it'll be easier once you do the first row around. Then you'll have a solid foundation to kind of guide you 
and how many to skip and where exactly to go. Okay, so you should have something like this that's how it should be looking but then once you keep going around um, you'll come up with something like this and I decided that this is as long as I wanted my skirt so I'm just gonna snip the end off off sorry and I'm going to secure the end of that yarn on the inside of my skirt and then I'm just gonna snip the tail end off and yeah after that you're pretty much done really simple as long as you know how to do a slip knot half double crochet double crochet and you pair all of these together you can get a mesh skirt like this and I always recommend if you don't have one get a mannequin but you definitely should have something like this as always tag me in your pictures on Instagram at kbiffcrochet I'll leave it at the bottom um but yeah I really like the color combination that I chose um I really like the way that the half double crochet goes against the double crochet and the mesh I just think it all came together perfectly as you can see I did kind of line the top with the peach color because to me I just wanted to bring it all together so yes as always don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video if you have any questions leave them down in the comments and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can love you guys bye